Hi everybody, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting and about 40 days ago I started a project to see if the worms could break down one of these new eco-friendly Amazon mailers. So this package, as you could see from my prior video, which I'll link up above, it had a piece of like regular paper on top that looked like cardboard and then it had these white dots inside and I laid that down inside this bin and we're going to take a look. I haven't added any food. I haven't checked on it. I haven't opened it or done anything. It's just been sitting on here under the castings. And it's time to take a look and see if the worms were able to break this down. I've heard a couple other people, by the way, that they have done the same thing. And those white dots were lined up exactly as you expect, right from the packaging when they dug in. So I'm curious to see how this is. We'll see if this has been able to break down or not. But... I'm really hopeful, but now I have to admit I'm a little bit more worried now that I talked to or saw some of these other videos where people were saying it, 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 it didn't work out. So with that, let's go and take a look and see if it worked in my worm bin. All right, as you can see, here's the uh, bin. It says Amazon test. It was 926. Today is the November 4th. First off, let's look at the lid. A little bit of moisture on the lid. Not too bad. So I didn't want it to be too wet in here, but at the same time, I didn't want it to dry off. So I've got a little spider crawling up here on the, the lip. I don't think you guys can see him. But there he goes, and he's running across there. So let's just slowly dig in here on this side. Let's see if they've broken this apart yet. All right, so we can still see this bin. It looks like it's still intact in here. Lots of worms, more spiders in here, it looks like. I'm gonna crush those guys in. I don't really care about the spiders that much. Let's just take a look and see if this just it's gonna no, it's still it's not gonna rip apart. We can still pull this out. Look at this. So they are starting to make some headway with it. You can see the white dots are not being broken down yet. Um, I'm surprised. I thought this would be a little bit more gone by this point. I have to admit. I thought it would be a little bit more. I mean, you can still clearly make out this barcode that's on the front here. You can make out the Amazon symbol just fine. Can make out the barcode on the back. It is starting to, to disintegrate in some of these areas where they're starting to work on it. You can see some little worms on there. So overall, it's uh, these white dots, it does not look like they are breaking down quite as much as the cardboard is, although the cardboard is, as I said, is pretty slow as well. Although this is uh it was it had some body to it. This feels like I mean it's paper thin now. There's nothing that's uh really holding it together, I have to say. Uh, I don't know whether. We should maybe put some food on here and see if that helps it or not. But I think I think we're just going to leave it as is. I think we're going to kind of let them continue working at it and see how this works out. Um, I could add a little bit of dry food too, maybe. Actually, maybe we will do that. Maybe we'll add a little, just a little bit of dry food on here just to give them something to kind of munch on a little bit with this. Keep them in the area. I've got here, um, if you watch my time-lapse video, as you can see right now, I've got some old-fashioned uh, oats that we're going to just kind of throw on here. I have a time-lapse where I had these... Uh, some ground up ones sort to get broken down. I'm just gonna throw in just a couple, just something for them to kind of chew on in the area. It's gonna build up some maybe some more bacteria and a place for them to kind of gather. Oh, a piece of plastic in here. I think I'll take that out. Every once in a while, for some reason, I still find plastic in my bins. I'm not sure why or where it's coming from because I'm pretty careful with my mailers and everything and I usually just use cardboard. So this bin is really ready to harvest. I'm really just want to see if these worms can move through this. We're going to again pile this back on top. This is going to be a quick update as I sort of expected this to be broken down a little bit more. That's what happens though when you you try to do everything that you can with the camera going. So this time not much going on a month in or a little over a month in almost uh, you know as I said almost 40 days in. We'll cover this back up. We got some oats on there for them to kind of lure them more into the area maybe of the uh, of the cyst of the uh, the was it the mailer? There we go. And uh, we'll see what happens from there. So I'll put on that we have an update on here. I'm going to add a label on here. I'm going to leave that 926 date on there. And let me add another piece on here that says today's date of 11 4. So we'll add that right underneath here. Let me just grab my tape. And this way we know that we checked on it then. And there wasn't really much to report. We added a little bit of food, and that's it for this update. This is going to be a quick video here. If you have questions, please let me know. If you've tried this test at home, 
you know, let, let me know as well and how it went for you. I, we're going to see if these dots will disappear or not, but it might take some time. I know that I've put some of my plastic bags in here before that are compostable, and they took about a year. So I'm wondering if this might be very similar. I might have to just let this just sit for a while. We'll just add food to it and see if maybe they disappear in here. But for now, that's it. That's a, the last part of this update. Thank you for watching. Again, if you have any questions or comments, leave, it, leave them down below. Thank you.